I'm Chai from Malaysia. I'm from University of Malaya. My research basically focuses on uh, food microbiology, biotechnology. I do a lot of work like, you know, on biosafety and biosecurity, trying to promote the culture of responsible conduct um, of research that include like, you know, the topic on dual use in Malaysia. I mean, as a food biotechnologies, I remember when I graduated from degree 20 years ago, that time we pretty much like, you know, talking about the possibility of having meat grown from the lab. So having a possibility like, you know, to, to fasten, like, you know, the, all the genomic sequencing from months to weeks, like, you know, that will enable us, like, you know, to really decode the genome and to do something about it. But today, look at what we have. So the emerging technologies, not just like, you know, we already have spin off um, trying to commercialize cultured meat from the laboratory, but also like, you know, we have next generation sequencing that allow us to do the sequencing within days that we could like, you know, decode all the different food crops or food animals that in fact, like, you know, we could use it like, you know, to enhance the breeds that we could do it like, you know, for the food security purposes. But other than that, like, you know, you do have like, you know, you are seeing also like, you know, a more um, precise gene editing, like CRISPR-Cas technology, gene drive, that is like, you know, there's a great benefit of it, like, you know, trying to push for more, um, what is it, sustainable agriculture, protect our plants, our food um, supply from all the attack of diseases and so on and so forth. So, yeah. Technology is growing very, very fast, but the problem of it is that although it brings a lot of benefits and everyone is such a, I mean, it's pretty much like you know, overwhelmed with all these benefits, but all these technologies do come with like, you know, some risks. So it does come like, you know, with some ethical concerns. Do we have like, you know, enough um, focus? for people like, you know, to really look into all of these risks and to find ways to mitigate so that we could enjoy the benefits from the research, from the technology, but not the side effect. So in um, Malaysia, so I would say like, you know, that the awareness on risk, on biosafety, biosecurity, particularly dual use is not really there. So all of us, like, you know, the main focus, like, you know, on all this technology, uh, how this technology could actually be used to enhance economy um, of the country. So how could we actually produce more papers from this technology? So generally, when we are talking about awareness, like, what is dual use, like, you know, we should actually, like, you know, um, assess, like, you know, our project, the technology, before we actually, like, you know, go into the research itself. That's not much of it. So in terms of policy, we don't really have a policy to govern, like, you know, to, to regulate um, the bio risks that come from these emerging technologies. So generally, like, you know, in Malaysia, the first step that we actually need is to create that awareness, to create that um, need and requirement um, to regulate the risk, potential risk, like, you know, come from these emerging technologies. The culture is not there yet, so there's still a long, long way for us to go. And I hope that, like, you know, this activity, this toolkit will actually become a bridge, like, you know, to enable us to actually create these um, awareness. And then we can talk about, like, you know, the policy. Then we can influence the policy makers that we do need a policy on this. I think um, scientists do play like, you know, an important role in promoting like, you know, this type of need, like, you know, to start to look into the risks that may come from their research itself. So bottom-up approach works pretty well like, you know, in the first initial stage like, you know, to create that mass of like, you know, understanding and agreement from all the researchers that we need to start a culture, to start the dialogue and to have the voice like, you know, expands only after that, the second steps, like, you know, we need to get a top down. So I always like to call it like, you know, a sandwich appro approach that you have a bottom up and you have a top down. So you need to get a buy in from the top down so that they do understand that there is a need like, you know, to have a policy to regulate and to govern the risk so that we could continue to enjoy the success, like, you know, the outcome, the fruits from this research. 
So bottom up, top down, and of course, like, you know, the other things like, you know, from the public itself, there's been a lot of disinformation and misinformation that we do not want this dialogue to become like, you know, um, a fear factor for the public that they distrust science, but we need to actually communicate this risk properly so that they understand that scientists um, have a holistic view, that we are doing all we could, like, you know, so that we could bring benefits of research to the people and mitigate the risk itself.